Nowadays, you can't walk into a kid's store without seeing a clear divide. Boy stuff is blue and girl stuff is pink. This is so ingrained in our culture that we hardly even notice it. But that wasn't always true. In fact, it used to be the opposite. So when and why did pink and blue become girl and boy colors? Let's find out on today's episode of... For centuries, all kids wore dresses and grew their hair long until the age of six or seven. This wasn't just because little kids look adorable in dresses, it was for practical reasons. Toilet training was much easier in a dress and diapers, since the fasteners that held up pants in those days weren't easy for kids to use. On top of that, it took kids much longer to grow out of a dress than a pair of pants, which meant parents didn't need to spend as much money on clothes for their kids. Around the mid-1800s, children's clothes started hitting the shelves in pastel colors like pink and blue, but they weren't intended to be gender-specific. By 1918, that had changed. The general rule at the time was pink for boys and blue for girls. The reason, according to an article from that year, was, quote, Pink being a more decided and stronger color is more suitable for the boy, while blue, which is more delicate and dainty, is prettier for the girl. That's right. Less than a hundred years ago, our idea of pink and blue was the complete opposite. So, when did the color switch happen? It started in the late 1940s when the concept of the ideal American family took shape. Men were expected to join the workforce, while women were expected to stay at home with the children. Retailers and marketers started packaging more feminine products in pink, and mothers started buying them up. From that point forward, pink was more and more associated with femininity, but it wasn't until the 1980s that the line between boy and girl colors became clear. For the first time, parents could find out the gender of their baby before it was born. Expecting parents wanted to shop for their new baby, and businesses realized that pink and blue could make them some serious green. Around the same time, laws were passed which let companies advertise their products to kids without nearly as many rules as there used to be. So, kids today are exposed to lots of advertising all around them that tends to reinforce what it means to be a boy or a girl, including what colors you should wear. In other words, there's no such thing as boy or girl colors, so just wear whatever you like. And now you know why pink is considered a girl color. Comment below if you have a burning question you'd like to know the answer to. We may just answer it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of Castle Questions, only on DreamWorks TV.